One of the most charismatic, entertaining, and technical female grapplers to emerge in the black belt scene these last years is without a doubt Bianca Basilio. Basilio, who trains at Almeida Jiu Jitsu in Sao Paulo and is an Atos team representative, is a human highlight reel. From her show stopping throws and takedowns that have gone viral to her deadly submissions, and even just her overall amazing character and aura she brings to each and every match. Bianca has absolutely become a rising star, winning at the highest level of competition and carving out a legacy in female Jiu Jitsu. But don't let her big smiles and happy go lucky attitude fool you. It's more often than not, when you see her arm being raised in victory, you'll notice she's the only competitor present, and that's most likely because her opponent refused to tap and paid the price. Basilia has become both notorious in the gi and without for her leg attacks. As she has continued to compete amongst the sports elite, she has grown in her confidence in the leg lock game and has one of the highest leg lock submission ratios in the sport today. Her two most common attacks have been the toe hold, mostly done no gi, and of course, what I like to call the Basilio Bochinia, which she normally executes in the gi. Bochinia means little boot in Portuguese and is the nickname for the ankle lock position in the gi that has become very famous these last few years. As the Dan and her death squad and the Australians have redefined the no gi system of leg attacks, Basilio has been at the forefront of the Paulista Bochinia movement, racking up win after win with her modification of the standard ankle lock. But what makes this attack so effective? It all comes down to setups and execution. First, Bianca has a few different setups for this position. Number one, being off a guard pole or her just pulling guard first, as she is more often than not always proactive in her matches. She can get to the position from De La Hiva or single leg X. Two, if she is on top of her opponent standing in the guard, she sits back into position using the downward momentum and forced for added pressure and immediately goes for the attack. 3. If her opponent draws first blood and attacks her legs first, she uses it as an effective counterattack. Now, when looking at the actual way she executes the finish, she seems to generally use similar grips, leg controls, and body movements in all of her matches. One of the major differences that you'll notice is that instead of connecting her hands together underneath her opponent's Achilles, she grabs onto her own lapel. This allows her the other hand to control grips and grab onto either sleeves, collars, or even use it for a base for the finish. Another critical detail that allows her to get the finish is the manner in which she applies pressure by moving her body. As she can set up the position from even flat on her back, she gets on her side and turns towards the floor, almost completely facing downwards, then uses her full body to extend the leg and foot. This double extension not only stretches the foot, but also twists it inward, almost the same way as a toe hold, making it double nasty. If her opponent tries to turn away, she follows them with control and ends the submission belly down. What makes this attacking position so effective is that she combines it with sweeps, which she is able to do because of her chosen grips. The primary goal is to submit with the Bochinia, but if her opponent can get their foot to the ground to stand up, she can use it as a single leg X sweep as well. The sweep is the secondary option to the submission, and believe me, she always wants that submission. Win, lose, or draw, Bianca Basilio brings it each and every time. With innovative and exciting techniques, you never want to blink or miss a second of her competing, because you might just miss another historical Basilio Bochinia submission that makes the highlight reel once again.